Western red cedar slab, inch and a half thick. I don't know, I'd say uh, five and a half feet long. So what I did last night is I Googled paddle or outlines. And I found a couple paddles that I want to do. So today I'm going to carve a paddle. A couple paddles, maybe with an eagle head on it. They're going to be bigger, oversized paddles. You know, if somebody's got a cabin, they can put it on their... Uh, outside the cabin wall or whatever they want to do so this is the projector that i'm using it's the exact same one that ryan cook uses it's on amazon here's the name of it take a screenshot i think it's like 70 dollars um it's wi-fi so i'm gonna get the picture on my phone and you wi-fi it to this and then we're gonna get it on this and then we're gonna do the outlines okay so after i'll turn the lights off all you do is you get your projector on a stand it will fit on a tripod you can see it's projecting on there so it's I use smart view I use Google phone so connect to the projector start now you guys can figure all this stuff out just Google it. it's super easy to do it takes a couple times to get used to it but um, it's not that hard okay so you can see I got the oars I like the bottom one now you can see the oars are on there so now I move this I move this stand back or closer for the big earths if you want smaller oars or bigger oars do you understand so if I move this stand back the oars are gonna get bigger okay it's perfect I got the lights out now you can see the oars on there now I go trace the outlines see but when you stand in front of the thing your body goes in front so you just gotta do your best tracing them out so, but you guys can understand my point. So I'm going to trace all these, this outline out. And I'm going to make two of them. Okay, so we got the lights back on. Back on, we got everything traced in. I want to say, like, um, this is just for the very beginners. To how to use a projector, right? This isn't too much a carving video. But the nicer that you draw it on, the better it's going to turn out. Okay, so, um, because, like, if you look up there, it looks like an abortion paddle. But it's okay. It, you know, I have a ba a big bandsaw here. I can cut this out with the bandsaw and make it look perfect. But it's not it's not about that. It's about using the chainsaw, getting familiar with the tools. You do not need to have a carving burr on this. A carving bar. You can just use a still 170 or whatever you want to do. Okay. You can. It doesn't have to be paddles. It can be whatever you want it to be. It can be an owl, an eagle, or whatever. I'm going to do some eagle heads on here. Hope they turn out. They might not. Uh, but I'm going to use my 201 MS 201. This is a, a professional saw. It's got the rear handle. Normally it's an arbor saw. And I got that Canon uh, quarter tip on the end there. With 50 gauge quarter pitch chain. So as my buddy Ryan Cook and Ke Uncle Kevin say, carve true to the line. So when you got your bar, pretend my finger's your bar. You don't want to be cutting like this or like this. What he means, you want to cut straight in. And follow that all straight in and keep your bar not like this or like this but straight all the way around which I probably won't don't do because I'm the biggest hypocrite there is <laughs> So this is a life-size row. Okay, you can see the paddles are carved out. So what I meant true to the line, like look, look how this screwed up this is. Same with this. I just redrew those on. That's no problem though, I can fix it. But another thing true to the line, see here how it goes out like this? Like this because I didn't cut straight with my bar. Don't care. 
Okay, so now it's fun time. You know, when you had your projector out, you could have projected something on the paddle. You could do like a lighthouse. You can do whatever you want to do. So I'm going to set these paddles up. I think I'm, I'm going to do one so it hangs this way. I might do the other one so it can just hang up and down. So I don't know, I might even do a lighthouse, whatever. Okay, so what I did is I, you guys, if you if do the chainsaw carving, this jaw horse is a really great to have. I think they're in my Amazon store. So I just clamped up a plank here and I put screws in the back through to here where I'm not gonna carve. So now there's my eagle head. Which eye should I use? This one or this one? I like the lower one. Yeah, so this will be uh, probably a Thunderbird again. And what I'm gonna use is my Echo 2511. Uh, sorry, yeah, Echo CS2511 with uh, 8 inch Forester bar on there with quarter pitch chain, 50 gauge. Okay, so I carved a quick tree on this one. My buddy Stu came over. I said, what should I carve on it? So I carve a tree, so I carved a tree. Just shows you guys how to use the projector. It's simple to do. Gives you, uh, these oars are pretty dirty. I'm sure they'll be good sellers. And uh, see, I just did some cuts here too, just to give it some more texture. Nothing's perfect. And the eagle's not perfect, but it is what it is. Just to give you guys ideas, hope you're all doing good and um, Big L, I haven't forgotten about your Dremel carving that I owe you and I'll get to it once we have a bad day of weather. I'm just trying to catch up on all the stuff. I got a big, uh, big slab I got to bring in here now and put the projector back up and cut a big tree out, shape of a tree. I'll show you guys after. Thanks everybody, I hope this video helps and uh, carving fusion. Over and out. Off cut. <laughs> Don't burn your off cuts. Don't burn your off cuts. One more thing. This is about four feet by four and a half feet. Who thinks I should carve a big chair? Have big sides on it. Carve like a wood spirit, Viking chair or something. It's not what my buddy, uh, my buddies helped me with their uh, excavators. Who thinks I should carve a chair? I'm gonna take a picture of it tonight and uh, draw it out. Okay, hope you're all good. Happy Canada Day to uh, all my fellow Canadians.